All right, so in the last video, we got everything threaded. Uh, it kind of ran out of space on my phone in the middle of um, boring this opening out to 400 thousands here. Um, but anyway, we I went ahead and finished that up and ready to cut this off. <clears throat> I have moved in. I put some more layout fluid on there. And I went in until I just touched. I don't know if we can get that. Yeah, you can see that, that line. Let me get my pointer here and see if I can point to it. Um, anyway, the silver line right there where I just barely touched the part. So we're going to want to cut that off so that this side here is square and flush and perpendicular, exactly perpendicular to the breech plug. Um, so what I'm going to do, I've touched that off and it's at uh, negative 19 thousandths. So I'm going to come forward to about 18 and a half or 17. Do that now. Oh, it's actually going the other direction, so there's 20. So let's go uh, a thousandth and a half. And this, this only goes in two tenths of a thousandth, so 20.4. So we're going to lock the carriage down there and here's my ghetto sheet metal tripod. I need to get a tripod for an iPhone, I'm sure they make them. Um, hopefully we can see what's going on here. I can't see because of the back of that tripod I can only see part of it but it looks like it should be in the viewfinder so I'm going to go ahead and I need both hands to cut this off so that the breech plug <clears throat> doesn't go flying I don't know if you remember in the other video I mentioned that I only drilled in there to 950 so the back of that drill bit should be about in yeah wiggling so much about in there with the point just coming through now that was 911 so the point should be through about 40 thousandths so when we go through that as we come into that hull the breech plug should drop off and leave us a fairly square edge as I go in there once I get in oh into this groove uh, eighth inch or so I'm going to take a file and just hit that edge just to break it um, so you'll see that in this part um, and then I'm going to put this pointer into the breech plug as I get into there so when it drops off it drops off onto this rod and I've got a hold of it and then we'll put it in the mill Cut the hex on it for the half inch socket and um, actually we'll, we'll put it back in the lathe and go in with the 3 8 half round end mill and bore up into our you know powder channel in there and then we'll put it in the mill cut the six flats on it for the half inch socket and then all we need to do is test fit it into the gun if it fits, we'll harden it, and then I'll probably need to make a tool to take the nipple out, and I'll do that in another video, but try and keep this short enough. I try and keep my videos around 10, 15 minutes long. That last one was kind of lengthy, um, so there wasn't really a good spot to break it. Um, and there again, I'm filming with an iPhone, so we get all kinds of interruptions if somebody calls or texts, the video stops, and that's a nuisance so anyway let's see if we can get this cut off here
though. Let's go ahead and pause here. All right, so we got the uh, breech plug turned around. We're grabbing it by the threads, which isn't a great way to grab it. Um, but I don't want to take the time to make a little adapter to thread it into and all that mess. So that's how we're grabbing it. Got the 3 8 uh, round end mill in there. And as I showed you earlier, probably couldn't see it real good, so we'll go over it again. I got the the tailstock set at 900 thousandths, <clears throat> and we're on zero. So what we're going to do is take this 30 thousandths. Uh, actually, I'm going to go in and touch that and just take any kind of little burr that might be on there off of that. So let's kick the lathe on. <laughs> Just want to just touch and clean any little burr off. Right there. Back that out of the way. Okay, that feels pretty good. Um, okay, yeah, I'm still at 900. So we're going to put the, and right now the tailstock is loose, as you can see, I can just slide it back and forth. So we put the 30,000th feeler gauge on there. Now we wind the handle till we get to 70. That'll leave us 30, when we go to zero, that'll put us right at the end of the part. So there's 70, pull the feeler gauge out. So when we come in, and that handle just rolls around. Um, so I just set it here at 70 with the feeler gauge in. So we advance another 30 thousandths, that's at zero. And that puts us right at one inch. You can just see the one starting to peak out there. Now, I used an arc calculator to figure out the diameter of the hole coming through for the quarter 28. It's 215 thousandths and the length of the hole to the bottom of the nipple is 500 thousandths but to take that so we don't leave a shoulder on that threaded section we've got to go an additional 34 thousandths because of the arc of the point um, of the cutter once we anyway to be 500 thousandths deep at the face of the breech or of the nipple we need to go 534 because of the radius of that point so let's go back in the patented sheet metal 
tripod here. And you are gonna hear some chatter because as you can see, that end mill is the shortest one I've got and it's hanging out there quite a ways. And we're taking quite a bit of material here on this cut. So, we're gonna oil it up pretty good. And then go into 534. Here we go. stock back let's pause I'm gonna put a uh, countersink in and cut that edge down till where it's about 50 thousandths wide um, so we get a good bevel out up into the powder so the more I thought about this um, I want to try and get that hole the chamfer as close to the barrel size as we can get it at, and that's at 451 um, so I this is supposed to be an 82 degree countersink so I did an angle calculator at 82 degrees did the height of the angle with the base of the angle at 451 and came out to 200 and 60 thousandths, I should have wrote it down. I'm gonna pause and double check that that thousandths in feed here to get to 451 across the back. So I put some indicator fluid on the back of that and I've got the tool zeroed. You can't see, there we go, anyway it's zero and it is right at the end of that part. So if we advance in 260, that should give us a 451 diameter to the widest part of the chamfer. Uh, I'm gonna watch the red just to make sure it doesn't go too deep, but we're gonna go ahead and try that. 
So here we go in 260 thousandths, be two full turns plus 60. peek at it and we've still got indicator fluid around the edge there about 50 60 thousandths worth of it so I would call that a success so we're done with that portion of it I'm gonna just uh, lightly sand the inside of that and what I use is a piece of copper tubing that I've split. I put it in the viewfinder. A piece of copper tubing that I've split, and I just roll up a piece of sandpaper on it. So, kind of wipe the grid off of that and shove it up in there and give it a little sand here. Put it back in the tripod. Wipe some of the crap off of there. And here we go. on it and test fit it in the gun. Turned out pretty good. We'll clean it up and stuff after we cut the hex on it. So let's pause and move over to the mill, get it set up. <clears throat> 